Hello comrades, Kamiasaw Bro here today with, yeah, that's right, you, you see those letters there? Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, every other time I tried this country, um, I couldn't seem to get it right. I couldn't get the right combination of what was required to not fail horribly. However, it has come to my attention, uh, basically the best strategy of which to do it, and as such, I've decided that I want to show my comrades so that you can play as the Democratic Republic of Congo as well. Now, I warn you, it is not but for the faint of heart. <laughs> so, I should just go ahead and tell you what I'm doing. Uh, I stopped the timer because the moment you refresh, if you haven't done everything uh, specifically, you will fail. Uh, so raise interest up to 100%. Personal income tax around 79.5 is a good number. Um, drop all budget sliders to absolute zero. Uh, now it seems like this is going to kill your economy, but trust me, it won't. So let's go over here. Swap over to a multi-party democracy. Yes, yes, yes. All right, good, good, good. Now that we've done that, we've swapped over to a multi-party democracy, and now we're going to go and permit things, allow our people to be happy, get rid of child labor. Now let's look at the diplomatic relations. We should be on ludicrously good terms with the Netherlands. And... Belgium, who has money, sweet, sweet internet money, assume my debt, Belgium, bam, okay, now, we saw that whole process, right, now you see I'm actually making money, uh, let's go ahead and jump up the speed and see if I did it correctly, in the meantime, it's good to just go ahead and set these to private, private, Oh, there's quite a, quite a couple here to set to private. 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 I wish there was a faster way to do this, but there really isn't. It's a shame. Hopefully they will in Superpower 3. So, now we see how we do it, where inflation is lowering as we speak. We've gone past the first refresh, and the game has not failed. So we are well on our way. However, now is the time to raise some of this stuff. I'm going to bring up infrastructure uh, to kind of maintain at least something, you know. And even then, once inflation drops down to a significantly lower level, uh, more reasonably around 3%, you know, our expenses are going to be a lot, a lot less expensive um, than they are currently. And look, our per capita has already doubled since we started. So a lot of this is kind of a waiting game. And uh, it's not the best, I guess. But let's go ahead and we're going to start increasing our cash flow in other areas. Try to start meeting consumption per se. Let's see. All right. Now that we've got all this, we're going to go ahead and throw more money off to Belgium. So this is pretty much your entire strategy and you just work it up bit by bit. Uh, and at least this is the what I figured out to do anyway. Um, uh, it, 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 it. <laughs> getting, getting a little ahead of myself. Basically what I figured out to do aside from uh, that initial sequence of um, budget sliders and 100% uh, interest and so on the best way I found to build up the Democratic Republic after you're able to sustain yourself is to basically just you know start kicking kicking money up to the top here as much as you can and then just keep throwing it off to uh, throw it off to Belgium you should have other friends who aren't exactly rich right now but like Germany you know all these guys they're gonna be rich eventually so it's good to maintain that relationship if you can, uh, which will be easy to do once you can start throwing money into foreign aid. 
in the meantime, let's let's go ahead and try to max out tobacco, which we have not privatized, so we're going to privatize that. So we're not making any tax off of these resources right now. That's why it's like, well, why aren't we getting any money back? Well, it's because we don't have any taxes on it, which we will start taxing it soon once I get it up to more acceptable levels. Yes, 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 yes. We should go ahead and get Belgium to send us an economic aid treaty as well. Um, I don't think it'll help too much. And I think I want to do a common market treaty as well. This should help us considerably. Oh, no, it did not. Woo, woo dang. Woo dang. All right, we need to slow it down and figure out why it got so expensive. Okay, so yes, a common market is not a good idea at this juncture. While it does increase your overall resources, it hurts way too much. I'm going to go ahead and swap all this over to private to make sure I'm not meeting uh, consumption because that could actually be the reason why the um, the treaty was so expensive for us was because our government was trying to compensate for it and meet domestic consumption, which in a common market treaty is not a good idea if you're the smaller country. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, let's get all this down. I keep forgetting about that, actually. I made the same mistake before, but now this is corrected, so it should be set up. There we go. Okay, we've got everything set to private. We're increasing our resources. Uh, do, 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 do. Our consumption is retarded high, and we are nowhere near meeting consumption levels for any sector whatsoever uh, so we'll just keep throwing some money into tobacco because maybe we can get enough to where we can actually make a decent profit so anyway this is basically um, it and this is I might even do like a little series about digging the Democratic Republic of Congo out of the gutter because this is the whole uh, way you should play with them honestly it's not savory but it's the only way they can survive um, because with such low budget sliders and whatnot they will die off in income as you can see our income's already lowering as it is which isn't good but our balance and expenses and whatnot are severely low but if we can get tobacco, oh sweet, people are sending us economic aid. Yes, yes, God, yes, pay for all of my, pay for all of my expenses, my friends, my friends, my population is turning on me. And that's something else you have to keep in check as well, is your population effing hates you because of how their country is, even though they're getting richer they basically have to pay for themselves which they are not happy about <laughs> but anyway as you can see Belgium is just getting rich over there so we can just keep throwing off more money towards them and getting richer let's try a common market treaty now that we've uh, we've swapped over from uh, yeah that might help we'll find out in a little bit if it does what it does, if it's important or worth the money we spend on it. Okay, ooh, I gotta be careful there. Almost economically failed. I have to assume my debt. Yes, yes. All right, now let's go back and take a look. See, and see, we've almost now that we've got tobacco above uh, consumption, we're actually making money from it. So we're gonna up that more. And. We'll go get rid of that to Belgium. And yeah, this is basically what I would do the entire time. This is my whole strategy with the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's pretty much the only one that I've seen that works. Now, um, my buddy Bear 1917 was the one who actually uh, sh reminded me anyway to kind of, you know, give it another shot. And even with the 100% interest, I didn't know doing that would help. So he was most definitely right about that. 
um, and basically showed me how to do it that way. So uh, yeah, I'm happy to say that it was a comrade who helped me out with this one because this one is definitely a doozy. And uh, yeah, it's this one is not an easy country to play as. It's very time consuming, um, but it can be pulled out. It can be saved. It's just going to take a very long time. Um, yeah, so basically, <laughs> like I said, I think I might just turn this into a series because of how broke it is. It's it's just so poor. And honestly, if you went, you could take over countries near you, uh, like the Central African Republic or even the Congo over here, because the Congo has an incredibly tiny population, yet has 159% of the resources you do. So, it's actually probably not in the uh, worst of interest to do that, uh, because you might make out pretty well uh, from it. But And even then, honestly, you are, as far as it goes, the poorest country in Africa, or even the world. So, you know, it's, it's not a bad idea to go that route. Uh, to kind of knock that particular one out the ballpark. So that's actually what I might do here is in the next episode, I may just bring it down on them, bring the hammer down on them, if you know what I mean. Get my money, get my money. <laughs> anyway, let me let me stop talking. So this has been Commissar Bro. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope to see you next time.